Another Hollywood visitor this year is Jimon Honso, whose visit was more recent. Now, he came alongside international organization Oxfam to draw attention to the unrest within the northeastern part of the country. Beninua American actor Jimon Hunsoon has gradually warmed his way to mainstream Hollywood films, earning credit on big budget films including Blood Diamond alongside Leonardo DiCaprio and Gladiators alongside Russell Crowe. The 52 year old actor who left the Republic of Benin for Europe at age 14 made a silent humanitarian visit to Nigeria to draw international awareness to the troubled northeastern part beleaguered by insurgency. Well, what I saw was, uh, you know, saddened me quite a uh, great deal and, uh, you know, quite tragic to see uh, family members, uh, you know, completely displaced uh, children uh, with their mothers. Some uh, kids actually lost their, you know, fathers and uh, mothers in, uh, you know, during, uh, through the conflict. Um, and uh, interestingly, there's uh, such a beautiful uh, support from the uh, neighboring communities, you know, uh, to help those uh, completely displaced, uh, you know, and those communities, obviously, who are some of the poorest in, uh, you know, in, in that region, uh, were with open arms to the displaced people, and that was quite beautiful to see. What did you do with it? I'm talking to you, Yami. Where did that one? The pink one. I saw you take it. You're mad. I do not know you. Liar! I saw it with my own eyes. This big. Biggest I have ever seen. <laughs> hey! My brothers, I go give one thousand dollars to the man who cuts the diamond out of this bastard. You need a case. You need a case. Over the years, the Nigerian film industry, popularly dubbed Nollywood, has grown to become a coveted staple on the screens of many African homes, including Hunsun's birth country, the Republic of Benin. His quest to build a very solid career in Hollywood means he misses out on watching the industry closer to his roots grow. Uh, not very much, to be honest. Not very much uh, because I'm mostly in Hollywood uh, trying to, you know, uh, trying to uh, survive there with, uh, with the, the movie industry. Um, but here I'm not, uh, it doesn't, uh, it, it, it's, it, it hasn't been so much the focus, and then suddenly uh, I have not, you know, have any uh, uh, demands from uh, the Nollywood uh, film industry, so it's okay. But if you get, will you be interested? It depends on what it is, yes, of course. One of the movies that set him soon out in Hollywood is his portrayal of Solomon Vandy in the 2006 political war thriller which highlights how diamonds mined in war zones are sold to finance conflict and thereby profit warlords and diamond companies across the world. Get work! What's going on there? Boss, there? boss, I want to go to Ali. I must go now, now. Go, 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 hold the team, boss. Go, go. Yeah. Give it to me. The government shoots a cabin. Go, 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 go. And soon challenges Nigerian filmmakers to make movies that would draw in more attention to the plight of the displaced citizens in the troubled zones.
I guess that uh, that sometimes uh, it helps having a, a, a film that uh, addresses the social uh, issues of a uh, of an area. I think that helps uh, giving some of the films that I've done, like Blood Diamonds, that are uh, socially, uh, you know, life changing uh, films. But I think it, it would be, uh, you know, for Nollywood as much as for Hollywood. I think it would be quite instrumental to. Uh, you know, have a, a, a speak of these issues that are eventually, you know, going to have any social impact if you address it properly. You're going to follow my instruction. Go, 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 go! Our orders are to bring you back, and that's what we're going to do. Yeah. They'll never pick us up now. Plan B. There's only one route, and that route is there. Let's do it. In 2014, the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences in America constituted the Nigerian Oscar Committee with hopes that soon Nigeria may produce an Oscar Academy Awards winner. This proves the existence of a channel to Hollywood for desiring Nollywood practitioners if they continue to focus and dream big as advised by Hun Su. Well, I mean, uh, I think it's relevant, relative to their dreams and, uh, and their hopes. Uh, I think uh, if you're trying to, you know, penetrate the movie industry in Hollywood, you will have to be in Hollywood and suddenly, uh, you know, uh, do the necessary steps to, uh, to, to make that happen. Um, I mean, there's no... Other than uh, allowing yourself to dream big, I don't know what, the, what other advice I can give in that respect. Yeah.